walk down the cooking oil aisle of your supermarket and it's downright overwhelming. There are so many choices. Sunflower, safflower, canola, olive, peanut, walnut oil. What is the best oil for cooking? Well, we take a few things into account. Flavor, nutrition, and what's called the smoke point. That's right, some oils actually burn if you heat them too high. Let's take a look at our Meal Makeover Mom favorite oils. First, you have canola oil. Nutritionally, this is the best. It's high in monounsaturated and omega-3 fats. It's the lowest cooking oil in saturated fat. It can handle high heat, so it's good for your sautéing. We also use it in baking. We substitute a cup of solid fat like butter or shortening, and we add 3 quarters cup of canola oil. Then there's olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil tastes nutty. It's got a very distinct flavor. We like to drizzle it over our vegetables to add a little punch of flavor. It's also high in the heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. Peanut oil. Again, peanut oil can tolerate very high heat, another good source of the heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. And sesame oil. We like to use this to flavor our Asian dishes. It's got a very uh, pungent flavor, very strong flavor, so you only have to use a little bit, but it really adds a nice kick to our Asian dishes. These are some of our favorite oils. Be sure to store your oils in a cool, dark place. That will increase their shelf life so that they'll last longer.